Hi there. It's everyone's favorite Deep Six champion, the glorious Robbie Rotten, aka the glorious one, aka Mr. Money in the Bank. Today, I'm going to be debuting a new segment called Fun with Funko. As you can see, I have quite the glorious collection of Funko Pops behind me. Many, many, many of them, especially the ones directly behind me, are WWE themed. This episode is going to go over my top 10 favorite WWE Funko Pops. As is in my nature, I'd like to show off and boast since I am the glorious one. Without further ado, number 10 on my list of favorite WWE Funko Pops is Wolfpack Sting. This is a GameStop exclusive NWL Wolfpack Sting. Um, this came out in about 2016, only at GameStop, obviously, and, you know, I was able to get my hands on it on eBay, just because I like this thing so much. Um, who doesn't love the Stinger? And the classic, the classic white face paint is awesome, but something about the red just really speaks to me a little bit more, so I'll go with this one for number 10. Number 9 is The Undertaker. See, this one is one of the older ones on the list. This one came out in 2014, um, and it's really hard to get your hands on anymore, even though it's a common one. You could, you could have gotten it at any store at some point, but now it's been what they say, what they call vaulted, which means it's been completely taken out of the line. So you won't find this anymore, anymore which is makes it even kind of cooler to me. And it's The Undertaker. The Undertaker is probably the most legendary figure in wrestling history so I gotta put him on the list you know number eight the WWE 2k15 exclusive Hollywood Hulk Hogan see I actually did not buy this I won this in what's called a waffle which is basically just a raffle on Facebook I guess raffles are illegal on Facebook so they call them waffles so, you know, I bought a spot and I ended up winning this really sick pop. I wanted it for a long time, but it was pretty pricey. So I figured, you know what, why not just try to win it? And I did. And look how awesome this is. The detail is really cool. Uh, Hollywood Hogan was really iconic for me as a kid because I grew up more in the Attitude slash Monday Night Wars era. So this was the Hulk Hogan that I really remember from when I was a kid. So this has got to be the one for me. Number seven. We have the Chase Triple H Skull King with the mask and sledgehammers. Look at that. That is sick. I don't know how well you can see it because of the glare of the, you know, the pop protector. I'm sorry about that. But I like to keep my boxes in the best condition possible. Um, the detail on this pop is just awesome. I love the mask. As soon as I saw it, uh, this came out last year. So as I, soon as I saw that this chase was a thing, I needed it. And I searched all over the place and finally I found it in, it was a Target, I believe, outside of Pittsburgh. And I was super stoked to find this thing because it is just awesome. And number six, I have this Chase Finn Balor pop, which again, I did not buy. I traded something with... I don't remember exactly what. I know I got this pop, this chase, and I got a Razor Ramon chase, which was kind of close to making the cut. It was just in his NWO gear. It wasn't too much different, so it really was a Scott Hall. But it was still pretty cool, but this one is definitely one of my favorites. Just, I love how, how good the paint looks. It's ridiculous how much they can do with this little figure. Oh man, Funko, I love you. You guys are awesome. And number five, another pretty rare one, the WWE 2K19 Woo Edition exclusive Ric Flair, which comes with sunglasses and the championship belt. That's awesome. This is the only Funko Pop to have any championship belt. And Ric Flair is an icon, one of the greatest of all time, if not the greatest of all time. And just come on, look at it. It's so cool. I could not help but put this on my list. I actually bought the Woo Edition solely for this pop, pretty much. Guilty. Number four. This one is not one anyone's going to get their hands on really easily. This one is really hard to find. 
It is the WWE Shop slash WWE Live Event Exclusive Macho Man Randy Savage with a pink and black bandana. This one, <laughs> let's just say I spent a decent amount of money on this on eBay just because it's so cool. There are three Macho Man Randy Savage figures and this one is by far the coolest one in my opinion. I just love that WWE exclusive sticker right there. Something about it, I just love it. It's one of the best in Funko for me and I just had to have this one. Macho Man is another icon and of course, had to have it. Number three and making his second appearance on this list, we have the FYE exclusive Finn Balor in the headdress as the demon. Again, the cool deco from the first one with the paint and everything times two on this one at least times two I guess whatever just so much cooler because the headdress he's got the paint looks awesome I love the way his eyes look like he's really angry looks like he's ready for a fight Finn Balor is one of my favorite superstars probably my favorite superstar nowadays but I just love this pop and as soon as it came out in 2016 2017 whatever it was I believe it was 2017 I ran out to FYE and got it immediately so number two this is probably the only pop on this list that you can run out to FYE and grab it right now it is the FYE exclusive Seth Rollins SummerSlam 2015 white gear I just really love that white gear that he wore at that SummerSlam and I don't know I really like the look of this pop it's really cool Rollins is another one of my favorites and I just love the gear again as soon as it came out I bought it I think that was 2016 and honestly you can still find it in FYE today you go there and they the box the sticker is not as nice as this one it's kind of like a cheaper looking sticker I think a lot of their boxes got kind of messed up or something and they just maybe the stickers got ripped off and they just threw in a new sticker on or whatever and sell it like new whatever they can do but yeah this one is number two before I reveal number one, I want to go over some honorable mentions that very, very nearly made the list, but just didn't quite make the cut. First, we have The Ultimate Warrior from 2015. The Ultimate Warrior is just a classic, classic superstar. I love the face paint. He just looks perfect. And I just really love this figure, you know? He's really cool. Next, there is the Walmart exclusive Asuka. Again, super cool face paint. Uh, I remember there were three Oscars that came out about the same time, and this was by far the coolest one. And yeah, that's why that one makes the cut for my honorable mentions. And then this one actually just came out this year. It's really kind of stupid, but I love it. It is the Amazon slash WWE Shop exclusive Invisible John Cena Funko Pop. I am a sucker for the stickers so I had to have both stickers so I ordered from both Amazon and WWE shop and just look how stupid this thing is you can't see me there he is you can't see him I just love it it's so dumb but I can't I, I can't help it I have to buy it number one probably the most random exclusive store Funko pop out there we have the 7-eleven exclusive Rey Mysterio. Part of why I love this so much is because it's from 7-Eleven and that sticker is awesome and stupid and ridiculous all at once. But also because Rey Mysterio is awesome and I love the gear. I love the light blue. I just love everything about this figure. Again, I paid a pretty penny for this on eBay, but I have no regrets. This is the crown jewel of my WWE Funko Pop collection in my opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy our content, please subscribe to us here on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at Deep Six Wrestling. Have a glorious day.